Hello, and thank you for watching the Kempler Design Vlog. We're doing an install, we just finished an install, of the Alta Dual Shades. And they are a banded shade uh, that I'll show how it works in a second. But the main purpose for this is to explain thoroughly how the power wand works when using uh, this type of a shade. If you look closely, if we come in really closely, we're going to see the wand here. Now there are a number of things that we want to focus on. There are three buttons, an up button, a middle button, a down button, or top, middle, bottom. There's also on this side, you're going to notice a hole. We'll get to that in a moment. And on the back side, we're going to notice that the, right here, if you can see it, it's very subtle, there's a little programming button. As a rule, don't play with that one. But here's how it works. If you want the shade to go up, simple, you hit the up button. Just hit up and you'll notice that the shade goes. The settings for the very top and the very bottom have already been set, so you don't have to mess with that unless there's a change that you want to do and it can be adjusted, but we're not going to talk about that today. If you want to stop it at any point, right here, that middle button, we'll just tap it. Watch how it stops right there. If you want it to go down, you hit the down button. And it will go all the way to the bottom. You don't have to do anything. Again, to stop it, press the stop button. Now, this is important. I have set for this customer a favorites position. And that is where the dual shades, as you've already noticed, they open up from sheer to private. We're going to tap that center button again. And notice that the shade will go all the way to a position that I have predetermined. Right about here, it's going to stop. And that is something that was pre-programmed. So it doesn't have to be uh, done in that position. You can have it set at like right there if you wanted to. It's about where you program it. And again, it is easy to program, but we're not going to talk about that because in this case it was already set. So now let's talk about something as we come in a lot closer. The battery system here needs to be charged through this hole. And if you follow my hand, the battery actually sits up inside the head rail, but we don't do anything with it. The charging is all done right here. So you have to order this part. This is a charger. And that charger plugs into the wall. It has a very long cord, approximately 12 feet long. Plug it into the wall and then take it and plug it into this hole. That's it. You'll notice when you look at the light, it's green. When it's done charging, this is fully charged. When it's done charging, it will be a red. Uh, excuse me, it'll be green. When it's charging, it'll be red. So you'll know, ah, I gotta keep charging it. Now, how do you know that you need to charge your shades? The best way to recognize this is that they will work and then they won't work. They don't go down slowly like, oh, it's not operating well. Because it's a lithium ion battery, it operates perfectly until it stops. And then you're like, ah, oh, something broke. It didn't break, you need to charge it. That's all that's involved. Now, one other thing that's very important here is I want to show on the back side, there is a programming method that I want to show you. Um, do you see this little tiny section right here? That's a programming button. And one of the features that I like about this is this. If I hit the up button, notice that it goes up. The shade is going up. Can you see the shade? But notice this. I'm going to hit it three times. One, two, three. Did you hear that beep, 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 beep? It just told me that it is now no longer in normal mode, it's in incremental mode. So now watch what happens when I hit the up button. It moves just a little bit or incrementally. If I go, if I still hit that stop button, it still does the exact same thing. And if I wanted to make the shade go all the way to the top, for example, when it's in incremental mode, I press and hold the up button one 1,000, two 1,000, I let go, and now the shade is operating as it did before. But realistically, most people like it in standard mode. 
So I'm going to go to the back side again and hit that button three times and listen for the beep. Okay, there we go. So it beeped four times and now when I hit the down button, it is operating perfectly. Goes all the way to the bottom. And I think we have covered all the operations of the power wand for the Alta Dual Shades, but it's also available on other products from Alta as well. And based on the fact that we're in the beginning of 2022, these things change from time to time. But for the current systems, if you're looking, let's say it's 2026 and you're like, I've got a shade from that time, uh, then this is how it operates at the time. You will need the charger and that's about it. So thanks for watching and I hope this was informative to you and helps you to use your shades better. And I thank you very much for watching the Kempler Design Vlog.